What's up, everybody? Welcome to Light Source Engraving. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much. New viewers, thanks for stopping in to check out a video. So I like to keep my intro short. So I'm just going to show you what we're going to be working with today. Two collar acrylic from Lone Star. So we have silver and blue and silver and red. So here's a closer look of the blue, silver and blue. I'll get you a close up of the red, silver and red. And what we're gonna be doing is what you see right here. I'm going to give you some starter settings that I use with a 30 watt diode, the Lasermatic Mark II 30 watt. And you're gonna get starter settings that will engrave black and red and blue. These settings are ran in focus, so there's no need to defocus or worry about that. And they're ran at speeds that any diode laser should be able to run. So any modern diode laser. So anybody should be able to, to make these. You just have to tweak settings for your particular laser. Now, I'm going to do some more cutouts of my logo. And you don't have to worry about writing the settings down. So put your pens and pencils away for now. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a coupon code so you can go to my website and download the Lightburn file that contains the settings. Also in the Lightburn file, you're going to get a couple little graphics to help you tweak your settings. So let's jump into that right now. Graphic number one will be this little shield uh, placard that could be a, a little acrylic patch or sign that's post put on a piece of machinery that advertises it has an unlimited one year warranty. But you'll see it has the three different shades there. And then I have this target that I use as a calibration tool or a settings tool. Once I got settings close, I used this to dial in to get as smooth and as best of an engrave and a transition between the two shades that I could get. And then there's my logo in the two graphics that are reversed from each other. And here are the settings, but like I said, you'll get this file, so you'll have the settings exactly in that file once you download it. All right. Simple enough. Let's just start the laser, get everything framed up, start the laser. I'll show you some footage of the acrylic being engraved, and then we'll come back and check out the finished product in just a few minutes.
Okay, so I have ran the two graphics that are opposite of each other in their color scheme. And I've ran one of each on the blue and red, or one of each on the blue and silver, and one of each on the silver and red. The blue and the red, to get to those colors, are the same, it's the same setting. So you want to get to the blue or the red, it's going to be the same setting. The black is a different setting, which, uh, like I said, you'll get in the file. But first, let's take a look at these up close. Here's number one. So you can see the silver. And you can see this is acrylic from Lone Star Adhesive. It already has the adhesive on the back. So it is ready to go. But that turned out pretty darn good. There you can really see the silver. And now let's bring up this red one just for the contrast. Now let me bring up the other blue one. So you can see the contrast in the two different engraves of the blue and silver. I'm very, with ha very happy with how these turned out. Now let's get a close-up of the reds. So hopefully this gives you some settings to play around with and you can come up with some unique hat patches or anything that you use your two layer acrylic for, whether it be awards, hat patches, etc. Check Lone Star down in the description. There's a link down there. You can pick you up some Lone Star. It's an affiliate link, so it helps the channel as well. There's an affiliate link for the Lasermatic. So please check that out. I would appreciate it. But that's all I have to show you today. Stick around for part two, where we are going to take this acrylic and put it on a hat, just like I did with this one. This is the Lone Star Red, White, and Blue. And that is an acrylic patch. So I'm going to take one of these and put it on a hat. And actually, I'm going to take another one and put it on a different hat. So I'm going to do a couple different hats. Different, two different styles of hats and press that down onto press the acrylic with the adhesive already on the back onto the hat and get that permanently bonded with the low star adhesive. So stick around for part two that will be coming very soon. And in the meantime, most importantly, everyone have a great day and I will see you in the next one.